Today we're going to talk about the liver. Did you know that in a lot of people, this organ is deteriorating without them even knowing it? Liver cells can become inflamed, fill up with fat, and even develop scars that dry out and destroy this organ. And you know what? All of this usually happens silently. Today I'm going to tell you not only the causes, but also the first symptoms that appear so you can detect liver damage in time and reverse it. And the problem with the liver isn't just that it doesn't show any signs of being damaged at first, but also that when symptoms do appear, they can be very subtle. We think it's just something we ate that didn't sit well, or that we're coming down with the flu, or we blame it on stress and lack of sleep. Both people and doctors often think the problem is something else. Meanwhile, inflammation and scarring keep progressing. And by the time we realize something's wrong with our liver, it might already be too late. And up to 90% of the organ could be affected. The information I'm going to give you today is very powerful. Check out these two striking facts. First, the liver has a remarkable ability to regenerate, especially when we give it what it needs. And second, believing that liver damage only comes from drinking alcohol is a serious mistake. There are many other very common causes of liver disease that you should know about, because the sooner you identify them, the faster you'll be able to reverse the damage and regenerate the organ. Here are the four main causes of liver damage. First, an excess of sweet and processed foods and drinks. This includes white flour, pure fructose, especially industrial fructose found in filtered fruit juices, sodas, and energy drinks. Second, daily consumption of vegetable seed oils rich in omega-6, such as corn, canola, soybean, and sunflower oils. These oils are found in fried foods, baked goods, junk food, and should be avoided. They're toxic. Third, high and frequent doses of painkillers like acetaminophen or paracetamol, as well as anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen when the dose is very high, and this also includes some antibiotics. Fourth, hidden viral infections that lead to silent liver damage, chronic hepatitis, and cirrhosis. All these causes not only lead to inflammation, fatty liver, and cirrhosis, but over time they can also cause liver cancer. And all of this needs to be investigated. Now let's look at the 10 signs in your body that may indicate liver damage and that often go unnoticed, even by the best doctors. The first symptom you should pay attention to is that strange sensation under your right rib. It may feel like pressure, a sense of heaviness, or even a mild pain. This happens because when the liver becomes inflamed, it starts to take up more space than it should. Notice that the inner part of the liver doesn't have nerve endings, so it doesn't hurt directly. What you're actually feeling is the inflammation pressing against other organs and nearby structures, like the diaphragm, the ribs, or even the capsule or lining that surrounds it. That's why it's very important not to ignore that sensation and pay close attention. That discomfort or strange feeling on the right, just below the ribs, doesn't always stay there. Sometimes it spreads to the right shoulder, the side of the neck, or even the back, around the right shoulder blade or the right side of your back. It feels like you have a knot or a muscle spasm. Many people don't realize that the root of the problem is in the liver, and they start doing physical therapy, getting shoulder massages, or even taking anti-inflammatories, which not only doesn't solve the problem, but can actually make it worse. The second symptom you should watch out for is loss of energy. Maybe you don't feel extremely tired, but you might notice that your stamina is different. You can't handle as much as you used to. If you exercise or do any activity that requires effort, it's like your internal battery drains much faster than it should. Have you ever felt like you should go to bed earlier because you're exhausted without any explanation for why this is happening? Even after eating, you might feel very tired and heavy. Be careful when this symptom is with you every day. And here's a fact you might not know. The liver plays a key role in keeping our energy stable. It's responsible for storing glucose, turning it into energy, and releasing it whenever we need it. Now, when this organ is having problems, it struggles to maintain this function. Plus, toxins start to build up, your body becomes inflamed, and your whole system feels it. The third symptom you should pay attention to is itching on your body. It can show up anywhere on your body, but it's very common on your hands and the soles of your feet. A lot of people feel it more at night. This happens because the bile salts produced by the liver start to build up in the tissues when the bile flow isn't working properly. At that point, these substances get trapped and begin to irritate your skin, which causes a lot of itching. 
So if you notice persistent itching without a clear cause, it could be a warning sign that your liver isn't working properly. The fourth symptom is red spots on the skin or spider-shaped veins. These appear because of increased levels of estrogen, a hormone that the liver should process properly, but can't do so when it's not functioning well. In men, this hormonal imbalance can cause breast tissue to enlarge. They may also start to lose hair on their legs, and the skin often becomes smoother and shinier. The fifth symptom is related to the thyroid. If the liver isn't working properly, the thyroid can start to malfunction, which triggers a series of symptoms because its hormones can't be activated correctly. Here you may notice that fatigue or that chronic tiredness gets much worse. You start to lose hair. Cholesterol starts to rise without any clear reason. Even the skin can become very dry. These changes are usually very subtle at first. You need to pay attention, but over time they tend to get worse if the liver doesn't recover. The liver and the thyroid work as a team, and when one fails, the other is also affected. The sixth sign is having very low vitamin D levels, even if you take supplements or spend time in the sun. This is because one of the liver's most important functions is to store and also activate vitamin D. Notice that when we consume this vitamin, whether from food, supplements, or sun exposure, it travels through the blood passes through the liver, then the kidney, and only then is it converted into its active form. If the liver is damaged, it can't complete this activation process properly, and that's why your vitamin D levels drop. So if you had some tests done and your vitamin D came back low, even though you're taking supplements or getting sun exposure, it could be a sign that your liver isn't working properly. Vitamin D deficiency can weaken your bones, but it also affects your immune system, your heart, and your energy levels. Your whole body's affected. The seventh symptom might seem minor, but it's really not. Your urine changes color. Suddenly you notice it's darker than usual, almost like black tea. The smell's different too. It smells kind of moldy, very concentrated, like your first urine in the morning, but even stronger. What happens is that when your liver isn't doing its job, the toxins and waste that should be filtered end up overloading your body, and some of these toxic substances end up in your urine, changing its color and giving it that particular smell. The color of your urine, as well as your stool, says a lot about your health. And speaking of that, having light-colored stool can also be a sign of a sick liver. Notice that when everything is working well, the liver releases bile acids to help digest the fats and the foods we eat. And that bile gives your stool that typical brown color, like the one I have here. But if you're dealing with liver disease, if your liver is full of fat or very inflamed, the flow of bile can be interrupted, resulting in lighter or clay-colored stools like the one I have here. In some cases, stools can float in the toilet because of excess undigested fat. Symptom number nine, difficulty seeing at night or in low light conditions. And this happens because the buildup of toxins in our blood ends up affecting the nervous system and our eyes. But over time, liver disease also causes vitamin A to not be absorbed properly, and this leads to many problems with night vision. It can even lead to night blindness. The bile produced by the liver plays a very important role in allowing vitamin A to be absorbed in our intestines, and this vitamin is crucial for the cells in our eyes to adapt to changes in light. While not seeing well at night can be a symptom of many other eye problems like myopia, astigmatism, diabetes, or even cataracts, overlooking the liver is a serious mistake, especially when you also have dry, irritated eyes or a persistent gritty sensation without a clear explanation. I'll tell you what to do if you have any of these symptoms, but symptom number 10 is swollen feet. The scars that form when the liver is damaged are small at first, but they can still block the blood flow inside the veins of your abdomen, which causes the pressure in those veins to rise significantly, resulting in water retention and swelling in the legs and feet. If you press the affected area with your finger, it leaves a mark. The same thing happens with socks. Now, what should you do if you have any of these symptoms? The first thing to understand is that in many cases, the liver can completely regenerate and the disease can even be reversed with natural methods. That said, you should schedule a visit with your doctor as soon as possible. They'll order some blood tests, an ultrasound to see how your liver's doing, and will also look for the root cause of the problem to address it directly. It's important to understand that all these symptoms are not always caused by liver problems, but a diseased liver should be ruled out as soon as possible, especially to start treatment quickly. 
On our channel, you'll find many videos with natural solutions for a sick liver.